Hello and welcome to a Sophisticated Pairs video blog. My name is Erica and today I'm going to be reviewing the Clio by Panache Zia Bra. Now if you followed our YouTube channel in the past, you'll know that I had some problems with both the Marcy and the Meg from the Clio by Panache line. However, I decided to give it another try and instead of going with my usual Panache size, which is a 30 double H, I opted to size down in the cup and go for the 30 H. Now this is actually the size I usually take in Freya, so I figured maybe we would see how that would impact the overall fit of the bra. And I'm pleased to say that the 30H in the Zia is perfect. The band is nice and firm on the loosest set of hooks, but it's also not too tight or constricting. I don't have any of that problematic gaping or wrinkling at the top of the cup, which I was experiencing with both the Meg and the Marcy. The underwire is sitting nice and flat here. Um, especially on the sides, it's not sitting too far back either. I don't feel like the cup is being pulled into the arm. Overall, I think this was the right size to order. And I have to say that I absolutely love this bra. Not only do I like the fact that, first off, it does give a lot of lift and support, but I also like that it's got this great little sweetheart neckline across the top. So it's very open, it's not super high. I like how this gives you enough space at the bottom of the cup. Sometimes I often run into issues where there will be a space here where my breast tissue just is too deep to fill up such a shallow base, and I don't have that problem with the Zia. I also don't have any of the overflow at the top either. It's perfectly encased within the cup. The underwire here at the center, the center gore, is rather narrow. It's not super wide, so I don't feel like my closer set breasts are being splayed apart. This happens quite frequently in certain brands. On the side of the bra here, the underwire is sitting absolutely perfectly. This is actually most comparable to a Freya bra in terms of where the underwire hits me. Sometimes even with Panache, which I do like, the underwire will sit just a little further back than what it's doing on the Zia. And I don't really need the underwire to wrap that far around the side of my body. So it's refreshing to have a bra that sits right at the end of where my breast tissue is. It doesn't sit too far back on the ribs. Now, I like the shape that this provides as well because these vertical seaming here really gives a good boost from the bottom. And it's also giving me a lot of forward projection. I don't feel like I can have any tissue on the side of my body that would prevent me from moving my arms. Again, this is also partially because the center gore here is so narrow that it's not causing my breasts to splay outward. Um, I love that it gives a very, I don't want to say minimized, but it's more streamlined profile. In fact, I actually would liken this a little bit to the um, Panache Jasmine, although I think that I get a little bit more lift um, and even forward projection from this style. It's really fantastic. When I first put it on, I was just overwhelmed with how great it looked. It really does just give that perfect silhouette under clothes, and it's a fantastic fit as well. Now, the materials of this bra are quite impressive. The bottom part here is made from a rather sturdy fabric, which is partially responsible for why I get such great lift and shaping. It doesn't have as much give as, say, a mesh would, so the weight of my breast tissue is definitely lifted and supported. The top part here is more of a mesh with some embroidery, and I want to talk about the top for just a quick second. Sometimes with the Clio bras, especially the ones that don't have a very flexible uh, fabric here at the top, you can run into a problem with it gaping. I know I've experienced this in the past both with the Marcy and with the Meg. In fact, I even tried the Marcy again in the 30H cup and I still just could not quite get uh, the gaping to go away. However, the Zia tends to, I don't want to say dart sharply, but it does come back in. So what I think this does is it gives you a little bit of leeway if your breasts are sort of in the middle between being top and bottom heavy. If you're overly top heavy, you might wind up having too much of a quad boob effect here where the mesh is cutting into the tissue. However, if you're overly bottom heavy, I don't think it's going to cut in enough to contour water the top of your shape. So as a result, keep that in mind, and I think that this bra is going to be suited more for women who tend to fall in that in-between spectrum. You can be slightly bottom heavy, which is more what I lean to, and I imagine you can also be slightly towards top heavy. However, I think you do need to be kind of in that middle for this particular style to work for you. Too far on either end, and this top part is going to create some problems. Now, this also uses a fully adjustable strap, which is great because I do like to have the flexibility for adjusting. And in the back, it has two hook and eye closures. 
Now usually I prefer to have three, I just feel like that disperses the weight of the band a little bit better. But I have to admit that because the band is so firm and the materials are so soft and comfortable, I don't have a problem with the two hooks and eye closures. And as you can see, it's definitely not compromising the lifter support. However, if you do strongly prefer to have more hook and eye closures, keep that in mind when you're deciding whether or not to order this style. Now as for the design, I think it's so cute. It's a bold polka dot. It's not one of the more retro-inspired ones that use a little polka dot. This is definitely very in your face. It's got a great color combination of black, white, pink, a little bit of charcoal. I love that they did this little rose embroidery at the top. And as I mentioned, I like how this isn't just a straight across balcony or even just a, a V-shaped kind of balcony. This is more of a sweetheart neckline. It's very cute. Um, I like how They've really just created this great bra that's very supportive and very comfortable, but it's got a nice aesthetic to it as well. This would be a great black bra alternative. Now this particular style is one that came out in the fall of last year, so it's a little bit of an older style. However, they do tend to reuse frames from one season to the next. And I think that you can definitely take this review and help you um, identify which styles, either from the spring collection or from the upcoming fall collection, would be the best choice for you. As I said, this one does have more of that mesh top cup and then a fabric lower cup. So I think that there's um, the Melissa from the new collection is a little bit similar, although that one uses a lace at the top. And I believe the upcoming Ellis is going to be also very similar to the Zia. So if you are interested in trying the style, there are some new options coming up for you either now or in the next couple months. Overall, I would give this bra a solid A. I can actually foresee this bra becoming either my new favorite or tying the jasmine for my favorite because it's that comfortable. It really does give amazing lift, amazing support, great forward projection, and to top it all off, it's very comfortable. The first day I wore this bra, I did not feel like I had to go through that painful break-in day that I've mentioned before. It was very, very comfortable right off the top, and I can't speak highly enough about it. So definitely keep the Clio brand in mind. I was about to write them off because I had two poor experiences, but now I am certainly willing and excited to try new styles from them in the future. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out the other videos in our YouTube channel, and keep checking back on our blog, Facebook, and Twitter for all the latest news and event information. Thank you.